Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like the videos is just, you know, really good, you know, go ahead, like, and subscribe if you really feel like you resonate with the videos. You know, um, give a thumbs up and share. It'll greatly be appreciated. I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Anybody who's going through anything, these like this, uh, what is the solar eclipse that just happened? I don't know. That mess was a doozy. So what if you still having those kind of, you know, residue, you know, fatigue and all this stuff going on, you know, I'm sending you so much love, energy, frequency, whatever you're needing just to keep going. Whatever you've been battling with that nobody knows about, I send you, you know, whatever you need just to be able to overcome those different things. And, um, you know, much love, love and light, many times follow. Anybody's coming in with nefarious vibes, Decepticon ass energy. I'm not claiming that for me or the collective at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm not claiming it, embodying that, you know, smote it be, whatever, bless it be. Uh, we're, not, we're just not doing that return to sender a million times fold and rebuke in the name of Jesus. Okay. So every evil eye go blind, every ill tongue to speak ill of other people over envy, jealousy, and pride and ego. Hey, let them go mute, see the truth about you and how messy you are. <laughs> And make sure whatever you're trying to place on other people, it becomes instant your reality. Except it will be a million times fold worse than you wanted to put on somebody else. So the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Uh, you're, cho you're chosen. Uh, you you've chosen self, and that's when the game changed. You're creating your own rules. Uh, ultimate blueprint game changer game over I'm like every time I don't know why I keep on hearing game over game over and you know I don't know if it's just because um this is my favorite time of the month you know I love horror movies it's like Halloween can be all year round and I'll still be happy you know that's all I watch I was like girl you even watch scary movies when it's not Halloween no it's Halloween somewhere so but anyways it is just like you know you know what you've been doing you know where you've been slacking off at you know you've been get putting your all into you need to dive into it you know all the little victories all the little challenges you allowed yourself to overcome congrats baby you deserve it congrats and you keep going even though you're like damn it ain't over yet no only until when you when you allow yourself to see what's over you know what's what's over you know what you know you know what different stuff you're going through and you can be like it's enough uh you know, you be like, uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, you know, extra with the, you know, Charlie staring up in there. You know, it'll be one of those different things where you see you play backseat to your life. You see where you may have watered yourself down just for people to feel comfortable around you. You know, you may have dimmed your light just so other people can feel like they showboating off of somebody, I guess, whatever. You know, you've gone through those different things and, and you see where life was not reciprocating towards you you know a lot of times where you know it will be hurtful like dang you know i reach out for people or i help people they try to take advantage of me you know um or they hurt me or they use me as a supply and these will be the different things that we don't realize this is exactly what we needed in our life you know like Rosa, what the hell are you talking about this is exactly what we needed in our lives you needed people, and uh, I, well, I'm going to say I did, and you can agree with yourself or not, you know, because a lot of times we don't like that pill called truth. There'll be some time I don't even like hearing the truth, but I allow myself to listen to it, especially if I know if it's trying to get me to that next level. There's a lot of things you're just not going to want to hear. You know, you don't want to hear let go, forgive, walk away, be quiet, you know, don't say anything. Karma got the best, you know, the best revenge. Your best revenge is in front of people that don't like you is be happy. You got black magic put on you, do the work. You are breaking, I mean, when I tell you you are breaking barriers, you are really breaking barriers. A lot of times God will allow yourself to be placed on the enemy lines just to see. Like, he already knows, he, he constantly reminds you. He reminds us. We're all protected and heavily loved. But a lot of times he will put you on enemy lines just to show you i'm gonna show you how much how much faith i got in you i'm gonna put you out here right here no gun no sword no shield no nothing it's just you handle it 
be like when we were, I mean, when I said that, they remind me of God. They're gonna mad bad be on Thunderdome uh, along with they're gonna Street Fighter slash Mortal Kombat. Anybody back in the day where Mortal Kombat was the first thing that came out, finish him, you know, and then just you know Sub Zero type shit. You know, be one of those different things. And he knows you have this power within yourself. You know, it came to that moment where you had to get skull drugged. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Disrespected in all kind of daggone ways to the point where, why are you allowing yourself to entertain this? And I'm not talking about get a pew pew and stuff like that. But why are you allowing yourself to be accessed towards stuff like that? I used to be, I, I had to tell myself those questions a lot. Now it's at that point, I stand my ground. I hold my boundaries up. You know, people don't like it when I'm, I'm not so freely talking about my next steps. Don't do that anymore. It's not why I do that. You know, especially if it's somebody that doesn't want to see you grow. You know, doesn't want to see anything good happen into your life. These are the times where it's saying whatever move you're going, even when you're sneezing, allow them to know what you're sneezing, when you're sneezing. You ain't got to sit up here and announce about somebody, oh, I'm about to sneeze. No. You do that mess right when... It's like, Dad, you ain't even going to warn us that was the warning. I covered my face. Okay? But it'll be those different times where you had to go through the ultimate betrayal. For you to become that beast. And it's not the beast that you want people to fear you. You want that damn respect. Okay? And if it is at that point where... You, if the respect is not given... I um, mean, you know... It, you know, you're giving, you know, you're constantly giving, but there's so many people that's taking, it's not even adding towards that, unless it's drama, hurt, pain, whatever, you had to be able to really go through these things, and it's like, when is enough going to be enough, you know, but it's like, these are my family, these are my children, this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my baby daddy, this is my baby mama, all these different things, when is enough going to be enough? Because a lot of times we go through this hellish stuff until you start blocking. It'll be the worst thing. You know, I don't told y'all up and down how many times, you know. I, it killed me to have to cut my kids off because it made me feel like the most worst parent. But then it was just like, regardless of what is being said out here about me, they know the truth. You know, um, people can talk all bad about you, but they will never talk about the good you've done for them. You know, a lot of times people get mad like that when you stop doing it. You know, and that had to be at that point. A lot of times people don't notice what you're doing for them until you stop doing it. You know, and this is at that time where I'm not going to play backseat to my life. You know, if my love is not being reciprocated, I'll just keep pouring into myself until somebody worthy that comes along that can be able to digest that and they're being able to reciprocate that and give me a cut back too. Like, oh, you thirsty? You want some of my fruit punch? Yeah, I'm going to give you some of your fruit punch, too. But ain't got no cyanide in it. The rest of, you know, dealing through subconscious, be something else. But it'll be those different things. And, you know, that was a joke, y'all. But um, just saying how different things this, this came into your life where you can really, 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 really just appreciate all the stuff you went through, even when it's painful. Because you, you can sit up here and say, like I do, you know, I can probably say, you know, I, I used to be treated in so many different ways until it got to that point where no matter what I do, no matter how I try to prove my worth or how kind I can be towards people, some people are committed to un understanding you. They, they know what the heck you got. They see your potential. They see your love. They see your kindness. When you got people out here that's dark and just... You know, just handing out, you know, pain and anger like lollipops and daggone, you know, candy corn. You know, hey, don't allow yourself to add towards that equation of bitterness. You know, it, it's just like a lot of things that we go through in life, it can really make you bitter. It can really make you hard. Um, you know, I got like that. I don't like having people around me too much. People think that's like, oh, you know, that's not going to stop my blessings from coming just because I'm you know, i being very picky about what kind of energy I allow myself to deal with. And it would be something. It would be the bare minimum. It's only because it's by my choice. And after that, I go right back into the rabbit hole and just stay there, you know, and just be allowing myself to look in the mirror and just say, you know what, I'm not watering myself down for nobody. You know, if my light destroys their demons, hey, they need to get, you know, me and my demons are just cool. <laughs> you need to go ahead and just, we all, we all real cool. They only come out when I need to. 
you know, I'm like borax, whatever you want, you know, you want to call it. Hey, hey, I need your help up here, you know, and go do those things. But if it isn't, I, you know, I put that on the shelf because I choose to not want that character to come out of me, you know, and you have to be able to. It's not even a point on you having to remind nobody. Nobody should ever put you in a situation for them to test that theory, how how you can really rock some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it will be at this point where you change the rules. Nah, you know, I don't want to associate with you if it's going to be anything, if it's not nothing but positivity, you know, something we can both grow from. Not, 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 not that throw rock how to hand type you know, throwing shade and want to be nasty at the same time, be nice and nasty at the same time, but something that can really make us grow. You know, let's have a discussion where nobody ain't getting triggered because somebody's telling them about their self or telling them about certain things that you may be doing subconsciously or unsubconsciously. You know, you should be able to have adult conversations with people like that, but there's a lot of times you can't. But it's just like the different things that I've gone through. I can really truly appreciate that. It's like, wow, you know, I'm very selective about when I say something. I always make sure I keep my plans and any steps that I choose to make to myself, you know, no matter what. You know, sometimes people will try to trigger you just to see if you gonna slip up and say something so they know where to go. Because you got a lot of people curious about you right now. Especially it's just like, you know, with me, I got to sit up here and throw a, a, a heat hard at times. Because it's just like with me being OCD, I have a routine. You know, my higher self, get yourself out that routine. People watching you too much. Go ahead, keep changing around. Anytime when you feel like you got something, just flip it again. You know, so I never do the same thing twice. You know, in the same coordination, and I'm a numbers person, you know, OCD and ADD and stuff like that. When I know I had people watching me, like, shoot, and I ain't about to say that, they ain't, they ain't even cool. But, <laughs> you know, watching you like you in a store that your butt shouldn't be in, like, oh, no, they can't afford to be in here. And you know how they be watching you, you know. Well, you know, you know. it will be one of those type of things where they even watching you worse than that, you know. And there'll be those different things. Make sure, you, and you just heard my phone go off. So it's just like going to these uh, these different things that you had to go through in life. It's just like, you know, keep your announcements to yourself. Not everybody, you know, not everybody clapping is happy for you. Because I'm going yeah, to be the most fakest smile knowing they trying to destroy it. And then, let me see how many ways I can destroy this to make sure it don't go full force for that person. You know, you have to be able to do that. Now, when you're making the games, you tell them, take note. You tell them, take note, this is what, you know, people are like, oh, I couldn't do this if I was you. I couldn't, and you know, and that's right. That's why I was able to do it, and you weren't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you have to be able to be that way. You are showing different people. When I told you, you are making, instead of making generational curses, baby, you are making generational choices. You're making choices to not continue to go through those toxic habits anymore or those different toxic attachments that, you know, that really was not good for you. But you had to be able to learn these different things so you know when to spot an op when you see one or when you have a narc, or especially a covert narc, when you see one. And it's just like, you, you, we really don't know, especially if you're like a Sigma. Oh, my God. <laughs> like if you're a Sigma, Empath, INFJ, Hayoka, at the same. Whew. When I tell you, we are lessons learned for a lot of people, including ourselves. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, when you be throwing out all type of triggers, you just meet somebody and they can't even stand you. And you try to figure out why. I, look, I don't know none of y'all. It's like, did I sleep with somebody that you were related to or you were married to or whatever? You know, why are you having this kind of gas face with me? They give you the gas face. You know, there's just something about that person. You know, one of those different things. But it'll be just something that they can't touch. The anointing in you, your potential in you, your strength in you, your sight. You know, and I'm talking about that sight, that real sight where you lifting veils. You, you burning through veils right about now. Jumping timelines and portals, you feel it. You go in one room and go out the other and forget what the heck you're doing. You don't know how you just jump through portals already, just because you're you're a spiritual, you're a spiritual uh, transmute transmutation right now. Ten ten on the dot when I said that, 
But, you know, you're going through these different things in your life and it's just like, man, because you can go out and you'll be going in circles. Like, wh where am I at? Like, you don't realize you just done jumped through three, like you helping your other self, out, in, you know, in three different dimensions, three or four different dimensions, all in 1.9 milliseconds. You don't solve some problems. You come back, you can't even figure where you were about to go to go get some ice water or something about to go get some ice and you forgot about that already. You went right back to your room and like, what the hell was I supposed to get? That's how bad it is. There's a lot of times we don't even notice the time shift. And it will be different things that you will remember a certain way. And other people won't remember it that way. Or it will be a certain part of your life that leaves a big gap of emptiness. Like there is something that is missing about that. And you don't even realize when, um, when that happened, you were glitched. In, in different portals anyway you know you flipping frequencies and stuff y'all doing some real radical stuff <laughs> you know so it's just really crazy but it's just like continue to keep creating a new bl blueprint of the game that you're playing on so called life you know you make up the rules as you go if you winging it hey you doing a good job on winging it as long as you allowing yourself to see everything that you go through within that day at the end of the day what lessons did you need to learn you know different things that where people may have upset you you know allow yourself to forgive them and, and just keep moving you know a lot of times you don't, you don't understand how the devil will allow different things to go in your life just to see what the hell you pay attention to pay on the, pay attention to who and what is relevant in your life the different things that makes you happy the different things that you know makes your heart skip a beat or give you a good smile when you think about it or even if it's tears it's tears of joy don't allow yourself to keep you know reminiscing on the different things a way people took advantage of you on different people hurt you you know or just didn't believe in you like you believed in them don't worry about that because trust me there's gonna be a day that they're gonna wish they didn't treat you like that gonna be many a days they're gonna wish they didn't treat you like that you know but you had to be you know you had to be down and out and look like you didn't have nothing you know god tried to make you look like a nobody knowing you were the biggest somebody you were the giant somebody but you had to be placed in that kind of vibe just to see who gonna rock with you genuinely authentically organically you know you had to be able to do that and then when things got to settle and you start seeing who your true family is who your true tribe is who your true friends are like you are able to be honored to give these people these type of labels even though we shouldn't have them but it's just like how do you correct categorize these people in a positive sense oh these are my associates i keep them way at a distance <laughs> you know i keep them way at a distance but i keep posted up and be very observant of them friends these are the people that knows what loyalty is on every direction in every season Whatever you speak on, it stays within that group. Everybody watches, you know, you're a girl guy or you're a, a guy girl. Or you're a girl's girl or you're a guy's guy. And it's not doing with sexual orientation, but it, are you there for your homies? And I'm talking about in a positive way. Not this, you know, I got your back, let's catch you outside, how about that? Not that. But when you're on a rise to success, you want to see each other grow. These are the different people that we need to stay highly connected to. Those are our type of people, not the ones that will purposely send us in the wrong direction because they're scared of what we may turn into. You know, you got a lot of people that see that. If you get that right, you know, if you get that right amount of coins or you get that right amount of resources, they know. That's why they're trying so hard to destroy your life because they already know when that right person, when you let the right person in, oh, hell, it's over. <laughs> so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. You know, much love to you. Uh, you know, excuse me, y'all, the other day, I was tired as hell. You know, me burning off. I don't know how much sleep I've been getting lately, but it's like when I either get tired or cross watchers don't want me putting out, you know, uh, messages, I start getting tired. To, like, I start tripping over my words. And usually, if y'all been watching my videos, I don't really get like that. You know, unless I'm either emotional or somebody's trying to make sure I don't, you know, put something out. But I'm saying it anyway. But anyways, I hope y'all have a blessed week. Be responsible and safe for every single thing you do. And, um, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. That could really take somebody a long way just because you did it from the kindness of your heart. 
and you know it's going to take you even further if you ever feel the need to be generous enough to drop a donation towards the channel the cash app is there at the description box below if you rather you know want to uh, hit me up uh, email okay uh, that's there in the description box below as well so much love shalom I say God bless namaste peace <laughs>